Problem 7 to 14 shows solid three-dimensional figures. The ellipses represent circular bases of the solids. The dashed lines represent hidden edges. And all we need to do here is to write parametric equations for the ellipses. So for number 7, we have a cone here. And we have to find the parametric equation for the ellipse in here. So, how do we find it? Now we could see only one ellipse in this case. And uh, the equation of that ellipse should be, let's have x of t. Okay, that's actually equal to, where is the location of the center? So the location of the center for x, it would be at 6. Okay, so that would be 6 plus the dilation on the x counterpart would be the radius 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's at 5. So 6 plus 5 cosine of t. And for the y part, that would be located at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's located at 9. y is equal to 9 plus 1, which is the rate radius on the vertical part. So that's y is equal to 1 as a radius. So b is equal to 1. That's 9 plus sine t. Okay. And this is true for t from 0 degrees up to 360 degrees. Okay. Let's go to the next problem. This is a cylinder. So in the cylinder, we could find two ellipses. One ellipsed solid lines and two ellipses with one hidden and one solid. So we will find three equations here. So let's, let's call this A, okay? This is A of T. And A of T will have the following parametric equations. Let's call it X1 of T. So X1 of T is located at the center of uh, 7 for x, so this is 7 plus it's located the a here, which is the radius of the circle, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 6. 6 cosine of t and y1 of t is equal to the location from the uh, uh, y x axis i mean it's one two five six seven eight so it's eight plus the radius is one so that's only sine t and this is true from zero degrees to 360 degrees Okay, how about for the other circles here? Let's call it B of T for the other ellipses, I mean. So B of T is the solid line. And uh, that solid line, so let's call it X2 of T. And X2 of T has X at still 7. And a radius of six also okay and this could be uh, found from 180 going to 360 okay but y2 of t is equal to 2 it's located at 2 plus the radius is still 1, so sine t. 
and it could be founded from zero to 360 degrees. Okay, for C of T, let's call that C of T here. This is C of T, the dash line. Okay, C of T has the following parametric equations. X3 of T, and we can find the X3 of T at the same radius and the same center, so 7 plus 6 cosine of T. And this is the scope variable from 0 to 180. Okay. And we have y3 of t is equal to 2 plus sine t, discoverable from 0 to 360 degrees. So this is the equation of the parametric functions of the ellipses given in this cylinder. Let's go to the last example. The last example is what you call a hemisphere. And the hemisphere has, of course, a certain ellipse also. Okay. So in this example, we have a hemisphere. When you say a hemisphere, this is like uh, uh, two circles or multi-circles. Okay, this is half of, of a, a sphere. And when you say half of a sphere, this is normally from, uh, this is normally two revolutions ahead of the circle. Or one revolution ahead of a circle. Okay, so we could find uh, an ellipse here in a semicircle. That's what is important about it. So let's have, let's call this A of T and let's call this B of T. So for A of T, and that's, you know, the parametric function representing the ellipse at the top of this hemisphere. So let's call it X1 T. And x1 t has a position of the center occurring at x is equal to 8 plus the radius for x would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 cosine t. And for y1 of t, this is actually occurring from the center uh, occurring at y is equal to. 8 plus the radius here is according to the grapher to, to the grapher it's approximately 8 plus 1.4 sine t and this is this curve variable from 0 degrees till 360 degrees for b of t B of T occurs at not take note this is a semicircle, so our T is not complete, but we have one half of the T. So we have the center occurring at eight and our radius here is from here going to to here, so that would be one to seven, that's that's seven. Cosine zero point five t because this is not a complete circle it's uh, a, a semicircle actually and our y occurs also at 8 plus uh, 7 sine t because this is a circle 0.5 t the but this semicircle is discoverable from 360 degrees to 720 degrees.
Okay, so this ends lesson 7-5. It's all about parametric functions. For the next lesson, we're going to deal with 7-6, inverse trigonometric relation graphs. And after that, we go to chapter tests and review and uh, electronic tests. So once again, thank you for watching and have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye.